Hey, I'm Allison with Saute and Soiree. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm making a panzanella, but I'm calling this segment Resto Repro. So restaurant reproduction. Um, inspiration can come from anywhere, uh, whether it's something you ate or something you saw in a magazine or on a website or on the web. Um, I get my inspiration for ideas often from menus of restaurants that I enjoy. I like their style, I like their approach. The food sounds good to me. Um, so whether I copy it from, you know, I see it online uh, and I write it down, or some restaurants have paper menus and then they get dirty and you ask if you could take it with you and they say yes. So I live in the suburbs of Philadelphia and there's a restaurant uh, called Alimentari, which is uh, the upstairs area of a gourmet market and many of them can be found around um, Philadelphia and the suburbs called Di Bruno Brothers. It's a fantastic gourmet market. Um, so on the Alimentari menu, uh, they have a harvest panzanella. So a panzanella salad is basically a salad with a crouton, uh, hence the word the pane of pan means bread, and zanella is like a, a shallow bowl. So um, it's often thought that that's where the word comes from. And a panzanella is a salad that doesn't have a leafy green, typically doesn't have lettuce. It has equal sizes of various fresh ingredients. So a summer panzanella would be tomatoes, basil, onion, um, and then a crusty, like a stale bread that's sort of reincarnated into a crouton. So um, I am using this harvest panzanella to make my own. I'm not copying it exactly. Uh, I'm using what I have, but I like the way there's red, and I'll read it to you. Shaved Brussels sprouts, radicchio, heirloom carrots, beets, butternut squash, dried cherries, hazelnuts, ricotta salata, which is the sheep's milk cheese. It's almost like a, um, like a, uh, the queso, uh, like a queso fresco. It's sort of crumbly and dry. It's delicious. Um, torn croutons, maple balsamic vinaigrette. So I have here, and it may be a little hard to see, so I apologize, uh, very similar ingredients, but I've substituted. So I have on the, uh, in the bowl are basically English muffins that I have um, that I have toasted. Then I have some ricotta salata. Then I have some radicchio. I have sweet potato. I have radish, because I like the bitter. Parsley and basil for freshness. I have some Castelvetrano olives that I have um, cut outside the pit. So I've got the flesh there. I have the dried cherries. Instead of the hazelnuts, I have toasted walnuts and I have the Brussels sprouts. So I've got all of those things, very similar to how uh, the alimentary menu reads. And instead of a maple balsamic vinaigrette, I'm going with a maple um, lemon olive oil vinaigrette, right? So I've got the inspiration, I've got my own style, so that's what I'm gonna do. So it's a little hard to see, but I'm basically going to um, add some ingredients to the bowl. So I've got the walnuts, I'm just gonna kind of break them up with my hands. I have sweet potato um, instead of butternut squash, yep, um, that I've actually cooked in my air fryer, um, nice and crispy, but still kind of soft. I have those olives, gonna throw those in there. And I have some dried cherries, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna throw the croutons in there. I'm gonna take now some pieces of, um, uh, Brussels sprout, I'm just gonna slice them up. It's raw, but if you cut them into small pieces, then, then that works. I have the uh, radicchio, so I'm gonna cut that up. Add that in there. I've got beautiful purple, green, and brown. These are the colors of this salad. Uh, it all works really well. I'm gonna just take some rough pieces of that ricotta salata and kind of just break it up in there. I'm gonna slice up my radish. It's getting a little messy here, but that's okay. Kind of equal sizes, you know, to everything else in there. Rough kind of chop. All right, more pink and the radish adds like a nice bitterness. And then I'm going to just kind of 
bunch up these uh, herbs, which is fresh parsley and basil, and I'm going to chop it roughly, add that, so that'll be like my lettuce to my salad. And then I'm just going to, I have it here, I'm going to toss it all together with my bare paws from Alaska. So it has beautiful color already. And now I'm just going to make a little vinaigrette. I'm going to use a jar, a jar vinaigrette. So easy. I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice in there, fresh lemon. There's no seeds in there, so. Very simple, no need to buy a bottled dressing. I'm going to add a little, just a little maple syrup for, for sweetness, just a little. I'm going to add some olive oil. Like that. Salt and pepper. And then I'm going to shake it up. How easy is that? Fresh ingredients. I mean, how could you go wrong? Maple syrup, olive oil, lemon juice, salt, pepper. You could use a little Dijon if you want. And that's it. I'm going to lightly dress my salad because you can always add more, but you can't take away. And then I'm going to put it into a, a nice white bowl so those colors really pop. There's color, texture, it's really nutri nutrient dense as well. I'm just getting a little messy here, but I will show you um, what this looks like. And that's it. Here's my own panzanella, kind of like an autumn panzanella, totally delicious. So if you have any questions, please uh, put them in the comments, I'll answer them. And enjoy, hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.